everybody throw out and get your coins ready. Here we go for game number seven of the grand finals. It's been years since we've gone this far. It's been months since anyone has ever made a Welcome to Mobile weapon. Legends. Aurora have made portals of gods, unless they're both gods, one game away from winning the championship. Welcome to game seven. Let's it's go. Fanatic Onyx Philippines versus Aurora MLBB. Oh man, I, I had just realized that I have not been part of a seven game series just yet since I started casting back in season eight. And I'm so happy that we finally have it here with two amazing teams that are, have been defying odds all season. Welcome to your first, Joseph. And this could also be the first for many here in this bout. Many athletes putting everything on the line. Brusco flickers away. Again, look at that. Just how locked in both the teams are that even if we have to defensively flicker, Kirk was right there. The other thing that I'm excited to see and point out is as we get a glimpse right now of the gold lane is it's a classic matchup, right? This isn't the magic gold lane matchup we see a it's lot of times. both Marks people. It's both Marks people. I love it. It's what they need to do. And between them, they're both capable of playing these two marksmen, right? You've seen a Clint in Kaura yep. and a Beatrix in Doming. Now Kirk gets pushed in deep. King Kong reciprocating the action, taking that small camp away. And Renna J just chasing. Renna J just clearing out. Bruce go livid in Demon Kite's face. I wonder how this feels too for uh, Renna J. You know, just he got his hands finally on the Tigreal here, but Brusco is playing his signature hero on the other side. And you know that with that Tigreal, you have a couple options. Either you respond to when Brusco sets things up, or you can also be the guy uh, on Tigreal. Be a little aggressive. There's the flicker. Good dodge there coming out from Demon Kite. First turtle for the taking here. They're going to start it up. AOG! In position, there's a jump. Not connecting, but Demon Kite will get the turtle. King Kong goes down first. And now looking for more. They're on the hunt. Brusco should be able to get away, but Rora comes out with a win in that one. Two minutes in. First turtle down. Brusco protecting King Kong's orange buff. It's very rare that you see King Kong cornered like this. It's been a while since we've seen King Kong get deprived of his resources this early on, and Demon Kite commits Grand Theft Orange. A thousand gold ahead now is Aurora. Joseph, I hate to say it, but is Fnatic only running out of tank in the gas right now? I think they, I think it's more so this, Leo. They haven't been tested like this. Like you said in your intro to the game, when was the last time Fnatic Onic went through this kind of testament through a series especially this long? That's where it really comes down to even the mental endurance of the players here. Then this might be their true test. Look at King Kong, slow rolling his theft of the orange. Taking a small cap along the way, Edward catches him. Catch Still him. a little baby there, RWM. Going to be able to get out, knock up through Kirk. Oh no, he's in trouble! King Kong gets punished again! And Demon Kai says, get out of my jungle! They've cornered the beast and slain him twice now. Edward canceling the AOG, getting inside Fnatic Onyx's head. And now Demon Guy's gonna clean up house. They're about 2,000 gold up now, and the second turtle hasn't even spawned. This is pretty crazy because for a player that is so integral and part of the success of FNOP. That's the regular season MVP! That's the regular season MVP. He is now falling behind in terms of trying to keep up with the pacing being set. And Demon Kite has adjusted throughout the series, got his hands on this Alpha, and is just proving to be a nuisance. Sometimes he doesn't even get caught because he defensively uses the Sphere of Alpha. And then re-engages. Turtles up, and just as quickly taken That's down. There. Aurora, 100% turtle taken in four minutes in. Oh, this is trouble. Right here for Fnatic Onyx. They're gonna have to go ahead and just kind of buckle up at this point. We know the statistic, two turtles back to back for a team, what they can do for the early game into the mid game here. So they might try to, you know, scrap up what they can. You can see the placements here for King Kong, where he's going. Even though he got punished last time, he doesn't care. He's still gonna be in the jungle of DK. And that's what led him to be such a successful jungler in the regular season. Continue playing the map. Continue finding resources until you can get there. And in this series alone, in this seven game series, we've seen him do this with a Nolan. Yep. Now, with a Suyo, that's a whole nother story. Looking at the item game, about a thousand and a half between Kel and Dolman. Whoa. Dear God. Whoa, whoa. Dolman is on a gold mine. Where did he get all that money? Where is it from? Because everywhere else, everywhere else it's equal down the middle. Aurora successfully funneled everything to Dolman. That had to, was that just, that was nearly just like, I guess the farming and all that turret gold. The shielding? And I guess he was double laning? That's a, that's a, I don't know man, that's a smart cowboy right there. That's a rich cowboy. That's a rich cowboy right now because they're gonna have to deal with that. He's also now on the top side, so they're just gonna leave him alone, let him do his thing, don't make farming up. Fnatic will push that bottom turret themselves. They can't get it fully just yet because they can't overextend, and that's another turret now in the hands here for Aurora. Clean for Aurora. So far, top lane tier one taken down, bottom lane tier one taken down. Oh. The map is shrinking you got for it. Kelra. And King Kong just struggling to keep anything and everything in his own jungle. Luckily, his retribution is still on point, but that means all turtles. They're conceding over to Aurora. Yeah, this is gonna be a three for three. I'd be surprised to see it have not to fight this, but they don't even get a chance. It's nope. so quick to go down here. This is looking really good for Aurora right now. Nice, comfortable lead at 2.6, almost 3k up. Under the seven minute mark, all three objectives in your favor, and they can play around the map now as they set their eyes on the tier two here at the top. 
You mentioned earlier how Renegade's Degrail can actually play both offensively and defensively. I don't see him playing defensively or reactively at all. If anything, his mere presence is sh sending shivers down Brusco's spine. Brusco can't even cross the river right now. That's not what you want to see in a show. That's not what you want to see, man. And maybe, you know, this is now up to King Kong to just play the map. He's going to have to do the best he can, but I I'm even worried for him because if he does, if he's pushing somewhere else, there's so many tools to go ahead and try to catch him. And that's exactly what they're looking to do now. Renegade, still going to use. King Kong will spot him out with the Queller. But now, again, tier twos are being pressured. We saw Fnatic Onyx do this even the previous game, this early on. Mid lane, toss up from Kirk. From Wrath going to be used. Demon Knight won't land the Spear of Alpha. They still want to fight. Eternal Guard going to be dropped down. Okay. Today. They're going to try to fight. There's the kick coming out from Rusko. And Renate goes in, fights the lockdown, and Demon Kite's taken out. Run, Kelra! They're still hunting for Run, Kelra! Domang falls. Kelra trying to buy time. UA and Edward chasing him down. Kelra will he be able to get the space he needs. Rora loses two. The gold standard gets away with murder. Fnatic on its first win in this eight minute game. Two kills, one on DK, another on Doming. Those are the two perfect targets. Everyone else is just an accessory to Aurora's success right now. That is what Fnatic Onyx needed. How did they set that up? An amazing play. It started with Kirk playing footsies, making it, making it primal wrath. All right, they engage, popping the rule of emulation. Next thing you know, Keller was in the back blasting him. Oh, that's what you gotta watch out for. I mean, he even used that flicker, right? So they're not gonna have a couple of these battle spells now for this fight. Not so Aurora will go ahead and start things up. They know they have the advantage with the ultimates that they have. They still have the respect. Oh, oh. That's not to do. That's all of them in there. Lord now, a tenth of its health. They're gonna go for it. There's the jump on in. Renegade gonna be in trouble. And Demon Kite gets the Lord. Spear of Alpha gonna be in lockdown. King Kong and Brusco. And we're Edward trying his best, but he falls next. The two for two trade, but Rora gets the Lord. Damn straight, Joseph. At the end of the day, Aurora wins that trade. A roamer and an XP laner for a Lord, the opposing jungler, and the roamer. The math checks out. Aurora maintaining. Composure, recovering from that two free kills that Fnatic Onyx scored about a minute ago. Looking at the items. Luckily, Kelra has been farming up. He didn't die in that exchange. So he's now just down about just under a thousand. Yeah, he's I still think got some catching up to do. I think there's a future here. I think if some way somehow the Sonics just pour everything on the gold standard, on the Filipino Savage, he can get over his trauma from losing to Edward. Oh. Three years ago. He can get over his trauma losing to Demon Kite two years ago. He's gotta come here now, culminating in this moment. They're all going to have to lock in here on the defense. Even if it's this first Lord here, they should be able to work through it. Another turret going down. Fnatic Onyx holding on to what they can. Holy Shield still actually up here on the top side as they clear out the minions and keep the shields alive for now. Even in mid. Key use of the magic oh, flare. King, King Kong. Kong in no man's land. He's in the pixel brush. Oh, he gets spotted. Oh, <laughs> Spots him out. Luckily, no quick, tricks. a quick tap of the surge will get him out of there. But if it was any other position, yeah. if it was in the big river brush, they could have flickered and caught him. He's... I guess King Kong is in a, you know, in a way, if he's got to take a little bit of a risk, make some plays and move around the map, he's going to do it. He's going to have to act as a threat magnet. If he's not in the base and he's not where Aurora can see him, that means he's up to shenanigans. So Aurora have to clamp down on that. How much they give to stop that depends on Aurora, how much they're willing to. Because right now, that's all King Kong can do. He can't yeah. join fights. He can't front. He can deal some level of damage, but he's not as big a threat as Demon Kite. Demon Kite is a wall. Demon Kite is a house compared to King Kong. I would say if they can dodge... Like, one of the biggest things, obviously, is the Avatar of the Guardian from Edward, but even the Spear of Alpha, man. The, the Spear of Alpha, if, it's, if it catches multiple members from Fnatic Onic, they're in trouble. And that's why they have to almost utilize, like, even the Eternal Guard, if it's dropped down at the right mark to kind of help peel if they need to or initiate, that's, gonna, that's what's going to help them win the fights. Oh, wow. Slow push up top. Couple of rogue minions left over by Fnatic Onic. Popping that Holy Shield, too. There is some hope. Sonics all around the world watching. Fans in the Philippines. Fans in Indonesia. Fans all around the globe. Watch closely. This Lord Dance might be the last. Purple getting secured here by King Kong first. Lord, you're not out of 10. Are they going to get there in time? Brusco jumping in the back. King Kong will get the Lord in the exchange. They're trying to run for it. They cover down the fire. Brusco flickers on out. No one goes down, but Demon Kite finally a doming. Flickers forward and gets Kelra. The one for one, but the objective here for Aurora. It's the same situation. Deja vu. One might argue a one for one, but Aurora walks away with a big one. The Lord, the enhanced Lord, marching through mid. No holy shields. And they have to defend the hard way. They're going to be able to clear this out. Kelro will be back up in time. What does Rora still want to look for? Or is that all they're going to get? Brusco. Brusco. Might try to make a play. Goes in. Not going to be able to find the connection. No, Brusco is in trouble. Yo, hey, again. Turning things around. And now without Brusco, they might lose the base turrets next. It was too risky an angle. Not enough of a distance to come in and catch a good side. And now Aurora sending away down bottom. Fnatic Onic defending for their life. They need to hold out. They need to extend this four, five more minutes into the next Lord. They keep it together. Base turrets still up. 
a little bit of a desperation trying to set things up. It didn't work out that time, Leo. Rusko believes that you miss 100% of the shots you don't take, and he took his shot, and he is not throwing away his shot. He's young, he's scrappy, and just like everyone else in his team, he's hungry for this victory. Grand Theft Purple by Demon Kite, slowly but surely ballooning this lead up to 1,000, approaching 1,000 and a half, 14 minutes in. About a minute until the next Lord spawns, lower quarter. Luckily for Fnatic Onyx, that is the long lane for them, wherein it's the softer side of the inhibitor. So, you know what? Maybe Brusco should save those big ticket kicks yeah. for the Lord fight. I, I I agree, you know, and I think that last attempt, knowing that they could have just gone for it, maybe something happened, but if we saw a preview of the Lord fights like the last one, what do they have to change here? Because it didn't go that well for them. Start it before the Lord begins. I think Fnatic Onyx have been relying on the turn a little too much, and Aurora have smarted up to it. Aurora said, enough is enough. You've turned on too many people in the regular season already. They just press the gas. They just press the gas, they lean into it. And Aurora are so good at the turn. They're so good at welcoming Fnatic Onyx into their own pit into their own ring. And that's what this lineup was made to do. The Tigreal, the Eve, the Gatot, the Alpha. Dude, all he needs to do is clean up all these criminals. Yeah. <laughs> all, these, all these rogues. All these rogues. It's about to be high noon after actually it's past the high noon at this point. Game seven, past 15 minutes. This lore gonna be crucial for either team. It's a half belt. Rusko and Kurt now third. down the front. Kelvin not gonna find the runner shot. Eternal Guard gonna be dropped down. They get that out. There's the implosion coming out from Rusko. Rusko could be in trouble. They're trying to get the zone, but King Kong's out of the picture. Again, what? Super Prince gets the Lord. Fnatic on the he's trying to withstand the fight. Hey. Edward jumps into the backside. Rusko will kick him in the face. And Edward's still alive until Kurt takes him out. It's a battle in the mid lane. No, they, oh. but Kaura shows them the shot to the face. And they're on the run to the defense. What a turnaround. Starting with the monster mage, the lunatic prince, total anarchy in the lord pit, he took advantage of that, he had eyes on the prize, and the enhanced lord, walk for Fnatic Onyx Philippines, back to back, with ultra instincts on Kelra, he had eyes on the perfect target, he knew King Kong was gone, so he protected himself, kept himself scarce, and then started shooting for the high heavens. Edward and Domang will be back up here, to try to stay in this game, Lord still has to be worked on, it looks like they're only gonna get the base turrets, talk about the poetry of securing that Lord with the Eternal Guard from Super Prince. The back and forth, the ebb and flow, the beautiful and brutal exchange between these two world-class athlete teams. If you're not watching this right now, you're missing out. This is what you pay attention to if you want to see peak MLBB. And the only thing between them is an inhibitor and 2,000 gold. How? How is it that close, yet still seemingly both teams engage as if their lives depended on it? Leo, I'm not even complaining. I We are here on the desk and I am entertained. I wouldn't want Game 7 to be any other way than how this has been for the past 18 minutes. And it brings us back to that. The Lord coming up in a minute. Are they going to try to make a play? Are they trying to get a numbers advantage? Because now the defensive items come into play with this. Now they start juggling. Demon Kite just picked up his immortality. Demon Kite also has a winner crown, so he can jump in. Spear of Alpha front, and then come back, deal extra true damage. Fnatic gonna have to accept that fact that the box does not belong to them. They have to play outside the box. They have to bait the box. They have to live in the box to be able to understand how Aurora do it. And look at the damage dealt by Yue. It's just so sticky. A box, the real manipulation, but Super Prince. Super Prince is a one-of-a-kind mage. Super Prince comes from the same DNA that Fu, Sanji, yeah. Yue, Sans. They're all the same breed. They are, man, and they come in clutch when it's needed most. And that is a huge factor for both these ends, both these teams here. Lord has already spawned, upper quarter. This is an evolved Lord. Dare I say, whoever scores this might as well take home the championship. River Control going over to Aurora first to the scene. They do take the Little Wanderer. Renegade still has his Flicker, still has his Immortality. So there's a lot of Engage on Aurora. How does Fnatic Onyx juggle all of those factors? Can really be either team here that decides to start things up. King Kong will make his way into the fight. Oh, oh, oh. Or is he going to try to push and play something else oh, here? Oh, 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 Lord. Might get soft reset here. Where's King Kong going? There it is, King Kong taking the long way around. Flanking from the east. Domin can't see. Demon Kite either. Renegade pushing them back in. Lord down to the 10th. It's down to the 10th. He might be too late. Lord already secured the jump in from Edward. They might call the fight King Kong. Is he going to go for Domeng? Takes off a couple shots. He gets the wind of nature out, but he'll disengage. The timing wasn't right for Fnaf. Fnatic took a second too long. They had the set up. King Kong couldn't get there safely and fast enough to be able to get the pincer. Aurora scoring the Lord. No casualties either side. Not even a flicker spent by Aurora. There was one on Kurt in trying to jockey for position. Looking at the items. Both marksmen refused to go barefoot. 
Both marksmen understand that rotations are the name of the game. It's the map. And what's King Kong doing? Oh, oh. What is this? Joseph, is he back? Is he going for the back door? He looks like he might be. Oh, no. He's actually just going to handle that wave. He, he sees it. Retreat. He sees it. They see it. He has to go home. Oh, he has to go home. He's got to go home. They got to defend here. Lord's going to be worked on. Eternal Guard already dropped down. There's the box once again. The AOG is going to be used. They're clearing out the minions. And we're trying to get out. And Spirit Alpha coming out from Demon Kite. Kurt gets the killing spree. And Edward goes down too. And the potion comes through. And they turn it around. Four members of Aurora are down. And Domang will try to go to base. But Fnop, after a decisive team fight victory, will prep up to march in. And Doming, he can't even get back to base in time. It's all on him. It's all on him. From a dominating regular season to a hard-fought grand finals, the Sonics will not be dipped by the lights of Aurora. They stand unbreakable. And new LPL Philippines champions, Fnatic Onyx Philippines. I said it. Before, and I will say it again, Leo. They are too damn good. They are a force of nature, seemingly unstoppable. Since the season started here tonight, they were made human, but they were also made immortal. Tonight, they claim their kingdom. Kelra is now crowned. Kelra finally got the coveted championship he's been after for so long. Golden. Super Prince. Golden. Kirk. Golden. Brusco. Golden. King Kong. Golden. And let's not forget Kelra, the Filipino savage, the gold standard. Through the leadership of Coach Hayes and Coach Why Not, Spider Miles ever the supportive teammate, and their management led to this moment. What a run! What a season! What a grand finals we had here, man! So good, so competitive. Even on the other side, you got to see it. You got to love it. They are the heralds of the new age of MLBB. They are the new standard bearers of the Philippine playstyle. These two took us to game seven. Aurora MOVB, a threat on the world stage. No one can take that away from them. Oh, man. Again, Aurora, they were doubted throughout the regular season, and look how far they came. The only team to bring a team like this, Fnatic on Guilty, is the distance to make them sweat. You gotta give a round of applause to them, because boy, oh boy, I can't wait to see them in M6. Tonight, the light did not die. The light will shine bright once more in Kuala Lumpur for M6. And now, Fnatic on the Philippines will get their moment. It's been an honor to be at your service. Nice to win Leo bringing you the action. And on behalf of all the English talents, Rockheart, Remo Santa Cruz, and Egan, we hope you had enjoyed. We are Philippines Season 14 champions, Fnatic on Philippines! Fnatic Onyx Philippines, step forward! and claim the trophy that's rightfully yours. In three, two, one, congratulations! Fanatic on in Philippines! The Sonics are standing tall and proud. This title and trophy was destined to be theirs. To present the awards, please welcome to the stage, Mr. Marlon Marcello. Executive Director from the Philippine Esports Organization. He will award the Sonics, who face every match with positive winning mindset. They have dominated everyone who stood in their way. And now they are the champions. They will now be awarded with their medals, Kalra, Kirk, King Kong, Super Friends, Brusco. Philippines. 
Ilang pas mo kung ano ang nararamdaman mo, Kaula? Wow, maraming salamat sa lahat ng nanonood dito sa mga sumusuporta sa amin. And also yung family ko na mga nagsuport. <laughs> And now, it's time to announce our finals MVP. Our finals MVP is the one who made great execution in their decision making and leadership. To award this, it will be presented by Mr. John Carlo Felix, Sports and Games Inspector from the Games and Amusement Board. The finals MVP is the player who was critical to their team's victory. And your finals MVP is... Uh, lahat ng to dahil din sa mga teammate, teammate ko, sa mga naniniwala sa amin. You are the champions! The stars have aligned! And this trophy is yours! Once again, Panatic Onik Philippines, step forward! And claim what's yours! Lift your trophy so high! And show them how champions celebrate! In 3, 2, 1! Panatic Onik Philippines! for MPL Philippines Season 14. We have crowned a new champion and they will represent us in the M6 World Championship. Ipapakita pa rin natin ang tunay na lakas ng Pinas. Give it good advice everybody and see you in the M6.